Hey everybody, Max here. As I continue to wait out my 14 day self-isolation that's mandatory here in Athens, Greece, I figured I'd go ahead and show you some more of the gear I am carrying with me. Um, figure this is a good opportunity just to kind of give back a little bit because I've always found YouTube to be very helpful for me when I'm making my selection on things. Uh, just getting a person's um, input on exactly how they utilize things and whatnot. So today, I'm going to bring you the tripods that I'm, I'm carrying with me. So, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so a couple of little guys I'm carrying with me here. It's kind of funny. I actually never carried tripods at all. Now you see I've got four that I'm carrying with me now, and that was after whittling things down a little bit. One that I like a lot because of another telescoping function, as well as how small it is in this uh, little the shorty from GoPro something that you can just easily tuck into a pocket uh, even your pant pocket it, it just tucks away really nicely as you see here I've actually got a little case on my GoPro I got the GoPro 8 it has those legs that fall down and it causes it to tilt a lot so I get a lot of footage that's crooked and whatnot but I find this to be pretty good it's actually one of my my main go-to's uh, so far uh, for for my vlogs that I've been starting to do here and I do like this little case here it has a little cold shoe so I can put a light on it I just still wish the GoPro had a uh, uh, microphone jack input because man that's a huge thing that and the legs I don't understand why they went that route it's construction is just plastic there's nothing fancy to it overall this does me really well because I do like I like the GoPro because I'm not not so into having anything really big to carry around though I did upgrade to the RX100 and kind of want to step my way up but I've also got an A7 uh, full frame camera but I'm just not the guy that's going to be carrying the uh, doing the big vlog with a, with a full frame camera I just don't see the use for it for me personally right now I know some people are creating great content out there with it though here's another one that's very common famous one uh, it just it's so nice and compact the problem for me is that there is no telescoping but the reason I I actually even have this with me uh, is because the push button having that ability to adjust your ball head is it's really nice um, actually another little thing I've got to go with this is a standard arc amount plate so that I can easily attach something even as large as an A7 and I like having an arc plate on there because I, I like the peak design plate I actually keep it on the bottom of my camera at all times but you can see this has a pretty good wide footprint and it can handle as long as you don't go too far to adjust the weight but flat if you go right above the leg it can handle that you just don't want to go in between the spread even with a pretty decent lens on there it's the 24 to 105 it handles this I really wish that I could find just a um, quarter 20 threaded uh, ball head for a standard tripod with this push button feature because it just gives you great ability now said I wouldn't want to carry around but you see this would work just fine with this uh, setup here you know, this lens is rather large I, I if I ever go this route I'll go with the 16 millimeter I definitely see that as the most useful that's the drawback for me of the RX100 I really wish that there was a lens on there that even 16 to maybe somewhere around 100 millimeter instead of going all the way from 24 to 200 I I would prefer something wider anyways I don't want to get too sidetracked here so this little tripod right here though is 
really great in my opinion. Uh, so it, because it is rather small, I'm still carrying it around because really I've got too many still at this point in time. This one is something I just can't seem to part with just yet. Um, rather inexpensive. It does not go, you know, for a vertical angle, but you know, for what it is, it's it, it does a great job. I really like this little guy. We'll get moving on to the next one. Up to come is uh, a Yoka, I believe. I don't know how you pronounce that one. We'll get to it. All right, now probably my most useful tripod. Uh, this is the Aoka. Um, this is the shorter of two versions that they have for this. The legs, you got a standard upright positioning here. Let's see the, the name there. And you can also pull those out, readjust the legs, push it in, and you see here. Yeah, three different levels. Really wide open. And the reason I say this is probably going to be probably my most useful and uh, diverse is going to be because it is great for my vlogging setup of the Sony RX 100. And I can also use it with the video uh, or the camera I'm recording with right now, which is an A7 full frame. And I'll get to showing that here in a moment. But as you can see here, so it's a nice compact little unit. You've got one lever type arm. Loosen it, you can get your, your vertical. You also have this little knob here for panning or locking it in. This one right here you can readjust by pulling out, repositioning so that it's wherever it's comfortable for you. Um, for me personally, I like it. You can tighten it up with that finger there and loosen it right there. It works pretty well for uh, quick on the fly, but overall, I, it would be great if I had a push button like that Manfrotto. That's uh, definitely kind of like a dream for me. <laughs> that thing is just uh, so quick and easy. You know, that's that's the that's the real reason why I can't let go of that Manfrotto yet. But as for the legs, you've got just two two levels, I guess you'd say here. Gets up pretty good. It does come with an extension rod, which has also got two levels to it. This pretty much would only be useful for something like a GoPro or a mobile phone, which actually they do include a mount for a mobile phone so it's got a little platform perfect for using the ball head or also the way that I think that I might one day get some use out of it is it's got a thread right there at the bottom and I could just use this and I've got a little Bluetooth um, connection or shutter for my phone. I do find that you can get better angles sometimes um, just by sometimes you're kind of guessing because you can barely see but uh, that's something that I've used in the past. Now I'm not the biggest fan always of these twist style legs but in this case it works out really well. Oh, another thing here, you have little, just little rubber covers for spiked feet, which is a pretty nice little option to have. I don't know how often I'd use it, um, but 
yeah, great versatility with this one. Like I said, with the RX100, I can do vlogging. I can actually so melt this, this guy on here. You know, you got your great setup for vlogging. And then you also can just go ahead and, and quickly set it up on the tabletop, extend the legs, do whatever you need to. Also, if you're doing some like food kind of stuff, uh, another thing to show here just real quick, uh, it comes with a little carrying pouch. It's got a little pocket on the side here. You can go ahead and drop in this extension arm. It keeps it separate, which is nice. Uh, I actually like this little bag, just so that the head, the knobs and everything, is just a little less likely to catch things when I carry it around here in my backpack. And this is the, the Peak Design Everyday Backpack in the 20 liter version. And you can see how nicely this thing fits in here. Now I don't really have anything in the bag, so it's, it's able to really push itself in, but that's kind of the case when I'm carrying it around. I'll put the A7 in on this side. It goes to about here. Uh, so offers uh, the ability to have access uh, and be nice and pretty much flush here and always accessible so yeah this one is a great little versatile tripod and I'll go ahead and switch up the camera now and show you a little bit real quickly with the a7 on how I would utilize that it's a little bit more precarious um, and you got to be a little careful so show you next all right so I swapped it out here let's go ahead and get some of this other stuff out of the way too now you'll see here with the Sony a7 like I said I, I, I am very cautious when I'm doing this because again this is a small tripod it's I think it was marketed as designed for mirrorless cameras and, and whatnot but you can see I mean it comes with the mobile phone mount it's not necessarily designed so you want to make sure that the lens is over the top of one of the legs pretty much all times especially in this most upright position but you can see it it does pretty well here you know definitely well enough where I'd feel comfortable I could do time lapse long exposures you know hit, hit the shutter but I'm here Maybe I put a strap on here just in case so that if it were to look a little bit, you know, leery winds or if it's a little, um, you know, any possibility of anything tumbling over, I just have some extra security. Uh, but if you would go ahead and drop the legs down just, well, really just one notch down to this level here, you are very secure shaking the heck out of the table there but anyway uh, you see what I'm talking about so you can open it to pan if you got you know pans nice and smooth with a decent um, decent weight on it I would have to say and obviously if you went all the way down it's even better the versatility of this tripod right here is really really makes it, it just a, a really great addition I I'd have to say I actually could do the vlogging like this but um, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe one day. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think that's pretty much it for this one. All right. Give me, get moving on to the next and final tripod. All right. So we're to the final tripod I would, that I carry with me. This is my largest. It's, I guess, a full size is the best way to look at it. It extends up to 60 inches tall. And this is the Travel Tripod by Peak Design. I went ahead and went with the aluminum version just because that one was pricey enough on its own to me. I've got on here the Peak Design uh, quick quick attach points because uh, I actually use this as a, um, I carry this with the, the neck strap for my camera, kind of toggle between the two when I need to. And really, I only carry this tripod around when I'm going out for a particular shot you know I have a plan of, of use because it weighs a little bit it doesn't show you real quick it does not fit for 
convenient to carry so much in the Peak Design backpack. Again, this is a 20 liter everyday backpack. And you can see it sticks up pretty high. A lot of that is because you see here, there's, I don't know, pushing on an inch and a half maybe? A, a good amount. Just because these, uh, if they had a zipper to open this up on the backpack, it could sit down and then it would be pretty much right, right in line with about where the connection point of the backpack. But anyway, it, it moves around too much just leaving here. There are some lashing straps and the backpack comes with a strap that you can utilize. And you run it through some of the, the loops on the, on the, the case for the, the tripod itself here. But for me personally, I just, it, it pushes into the bag so much that I just don't like to carry it that way. So I go ahead and again, I use the neck strap and I'll just carry it over kind of a shoulder or cross body. And um, yeah, so that's that. The little case here that it comes in, nice durable materials as Peak Design is really known for. It is pretty tight fit. Let's see if it, overall, it's just really snug. It's rather nice. There's a little compartment. You can see this little stitching here. That there's a compartment in here. You can keep one. You can keep one of the tools for the tripod, as well as another one here. See that you got the Allen key. This is this is a tool you'd use more often. Honestly, don't even remember what the other one's for. It can attach to. It's on this little plastic piece, and you can attach it to any leg. And it just pops right on, pops right off, nice and nice and easy. Um, I haven't had any problems with it falling off on me or or anything as of yet. The integrated ball head here. It's got a, a level on one side, quick release on the other. There's a locking mechanism for that quick release, and then the side here, this ring. ahead and lock it up get to pointing out that in a minute but you get that one one ring here and that loose uh, that tightens or loosens the the ball itself you've got all, all the points for getting a vertical and either one of them goes vertical the other two would give you up or straight down and this tripod is designed for professional use. Uh, full frame cameras, you know, very, very hefty. Now this one here that I was messing with, this for your center column, that tightens it up and you can kind of tuck it away a little bit, pull it out. You can, you can twist it when it's in, it will still function. The legs on this one, so first you can just simply pull it out and it locks right there. Do that all the way around or you push it just just backed off a touch you can push and then it brings it out so that you can get to the next level which in this case you need the column in the center up and you can drop this down nice and low now speaking of this column in the center there's a great little, the hook on the bottom. Let's see if I can show that. So you kind of have to, it takes a little, just a little bit of getting used to, but you pull this down and twist. And you see there's a little magnet here. So you take the hook off and inside, this is a mount for your mobile phone and it can clip directly into the the head here Got this thing actually unlocked so yeah it's a really nice convenient way to tuck this away thing to it just houses everything you need the tools the allen heads the other tool which again i can't remember what it's for now I believe, yeah, it's down here. You can stick one of the Allens down in here. And you see here, there's a seam. 
that would actually take it apart so and then you could go ahead and I believe the hook can still go back on there haven't actually done that because I don't I don't utilize this low low setup but if you want to get low like this without having to have this extended up and kind of defeating the purpose you don't want to take that apart Oops. I'll be able to put it through that way. And you hear that snapping? That's the legs. When you're bringing it back down, it automatically um, reset so that you can just you just barely go past past that next level and then bring it back out and it's locked into place. Unlike the other Aoka, um, the small tripod, this has leather legs, which are just great. You can just grab them all with single hand, and then you drop them out and kind of wrap around, and you lock them up. And again, once. With the center column up, it goes to 60 inches. But, and then down, I'm not sure what, what that height actually is. I'll go ahead and I'll get the information, put it on the screen for you. and easy and just to show so you just got to raise this up a little bit and from this angle I can get either up or an angle here or an actual Vertical would be this direction. But yeah, overall this, uh, it's it's a really nice tripod. It, it has a little bit of weight to it, um, but I, I think that any, any good quality tripod, I, I think it's gonna be in line. Definitely do some compar comparison shopping out there because there are a lot of options. And as I mentioned, this is a, uh, you know, costs a little bit. It's, I think it was, I think it goes for about 300 US for the aluminum one. And um, when I looked it up on the European side, it was a little over 300 euros. Um, and then the carbon fiber is a, a bit over that. But when I was looking at the comparison on the weight, which was the most, most critical point for me, uh, there was about a half a pound savings. And for me, it was, it was, gonna be, it was about $200 more. So to me, it just didn't, didn't pan out. It didn't make a lot of sense. But actually, I even watched a, a YouTube video. I forget the guy's name now, but he's a prominent YouTuber. Does a lot of photography stuff, much more professional than what I'm doing here. Um, but he's actually using this, uh, he's trying it out at least, uh, in place of his Joby um, Gorillapod. You know, those ones that bend around things uh, and uh, for his vlogging setup. And I could totally see that, actually. Um, if you're going to utilize one of these big cameras as it is, you need something beefy. I think that when he showed the comparison on his video, you know, the GLB was a little bit shorter. But this thing gives you so much more flexibility because it, 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 expand, it extends to, to 60 inches full height. Um, so if you're not going to use the GLB and wrap it around things, and that's the only way you're going to get higher perspective on things, um, yeah, I totally see that as, as likely. For me personally, I am more photography, especially that's what I use this A7 for. Um, not use, using that as a video camera very much unless I'm just doing doing um, uh, things like this. I used it here just a while ago. But uh, yeah, so that's that's the preference for me. And that goes back to where the Aoka, um, I can use that to to get some photographs and some quicker, smaller, um, you know, smaller setup to carry around with me. 
But if I'm gonna go and try to do a nice time lapse, I want this nice. It's a pretty stable tripod to do so. So, well, I hope that this was informative for you, uh, something that'll help you to make up your mind and just give you some ideas of, of some of these things in person, you know, how, how I'm using them and, and how they might be useful to you or just little details that you might want to know about them. This one here, you can put a different ball head on here. I believe it's going to extend it out further. You therefore wouldn't be able to use the, the bag that it comes with, but might be something that you want to do because this setup here, because it has this one ring, only uh, offers you the swiveling, you know, redirectioning, uh, no panning. So if you need a panning feature, then you're gonna have to look into that. But that's an option, as well as they have some spikes that you would actually, they're an accessory. You actually have to un unscrew these. Uh, and there's also a, I forgot exactly what they call it, but basically it, it shortens up the tripod and you, you take out all of these extension pieces. So all of these right here, come out and you put just pegs kind of you know they just kind of fill the hole there and they're they're just feet that um, make it more of a just a, a tabletop tripod but it's obviously gonna be much shorter and much lighter so there's a couple of the accessories that I know of or a few of the accessories I know of for it um, but okay yeah that's pretty much it for this one uh, if you want more information I know there's a ton of videos out there from people that are doing them about this one here if you want any more information about my use of any of these um, please just reach out and let me know hit that subscribe button follow me along in my journey more will be travel and vlogging kind of stuff than reviews I believe but if there's anything in particular that you're interested in please let me know I'm a continuous traveler living out of a carry-on um, setup I have a backpack and just a carry-on sized piece of luggage so yeah any information you're interested in please go ahead and leave me a message in the comments below and uh yeah don't forget to hit the like on your way out here and i hope you guys are doing well out there thank you so much for watching